What's up guys, with the most recent update which is coming to Mortal Kombat 11, all of the characters will be having a brand new third variation and along with that there will be some balance patch changes being applied to the game. So some characters are going to be tweaked, you will see some buffs, some nerfs and the best part is they said that certain variations, the custom moves that will be in, the, in every character's third variation there may be some adjustments to them to make them either more viable or less broken. Aaron Black, his third variation is going to have the Nether Beast Trap and his Acid Pour attack. The Nether Beast Trap is a two slot move and his Acid Pour is one so this will be what this variation is going to have. Now the Nether Beast Trap is a low. It has 60 frames of startup and about 20 frames of recovery. So you're looking at a move that has a lot of animation to it. It's well over a second of animation. So you're not really going to be able to just do this all nilly-willy and neutral like you could with a character like Hunter Predator for those of you who played MKX. This trap is going to require some sort of setup to get it out, whether it be by hitting your opponent, knocking them back and doing it, hitting them with a projectile then trying to set up. You're going to have to do something to sort of set it up because it does have quite a bit of recovery and startup time to it and one of the cool things about it is let's say your opponent decides to does frost have a projector on this version i may have to switch to a different character okay she does let's say your opponent decides to do a projectile and this will only work for high projectiles because aaron black ducks you can use it to go under a projectile so let's say you, have, you think Scorpion is going to throw a spear, you think Sub-Zero is going to throw an ice ball. Whatever high projectile they may use, you can take advantage of that situation and set down his nether trap under their projectile. And in some cases, like if Frost were to do her meter burn amplified after and I read that, I could do something, I could set up trap and then try and kick it to her to catch her doing that. So you can also kick the trap at your opponent and this can catch them off guard. Now you don't want to get too predictable with this, but it is another option that you can easily toss into the match. And if your opponent isn't aware of this option, they may get clipped by it, it may catch them by surprise, and if you hit them with it, you can go into a full combo with it. So that's pretty nice to have. Now one of the downsides to the bear trap, aside from its pretty lengthy startup and recovery, is there's a few other trap type characters in this game, Frost being one of them. And Frost has this shield move that'll put out, and if you touch the edges or the top and you stay in it, after a couple seconds you'll be frozen and it's unblockable, similar to Captain Cold in Injustice 2 for those of you who played that game. And you also have a character like Sub-Zero with his Arctic Trap, which functions very differently from Frost and Aaron Blacks. He creates this ice sculpture in front of him, and if you touch it, if you come in contact with it, you get frozen. It's similar to an ice clone, but remade to be pretty different from the ice from how the ice clone works now one of the main differences here is sub-zero's uh trap and frost trap if you hit them i mean i'm sorry if you if they block an attack from you their traps don't go away on block aaron blacks however is quite different so i'll, I'll set the trap up and then i'll have frost do an attack here and notice how I'm blocking. See, unlike those other traps in the game, Aaron Black's trap goes away and blocks, so you cannot put a trap out and then block a jump in or defend or block a projectile. If you make any kind of contact, whether it's hit or block with Aaron Black, your trap is going to disappear. It does not work in the same manner that Frost's trap barrier works and Sub-Zero's Arctic trap, so you have to keep that in mind. Once you have this trap out, you have to try and dodge projectiles and try not to get hit so that way you don't lose the trap that you placed on the field. Now getting into Aaron Black's other move that they gave him which is his acid pour attack. This is a standard mid attack, not too quick, it's 17 frames. And if you hit your opponent with it, he'll do this very cool animated attack where he pours the acid on you, hence the name acid pour, and then he smashes it in your face. Now, they actually redesigned this move. They took out the animation completely. 
No longer off the regular one will he pour acid and smash you. Now they gave him a completely brand new animation where he'll just hit you with the head, he'll pull out his gun and shoot you and that's it. It'll be a quick like a quick boom and then gunshot, like a very quick thing. Because they feel that it was unnecessarily long, which I, I kind of agree with. It's, pr it's a very long animation even though it looks amazing. He does keep it for his enhanced version if you enhance it. He'll keep the, the long acid pour, so there is that. But um, this move got remade in a way. So normally, because it has a very long animation like this, it's one of the longest moves in the game. Not only is it very good for regenerating your meter at the bottom, whether you're waiting for offense meter or defensive meter, but it synergizes so well with his acid. If you have acid on the ground, you hit them with this, check this out. Because the animation is so long, they literally take almost all of the acid duration, which will do close to 20%. So just 20% raw for hitting them with that. And this is excluding the bonus damage you get. You would get from doing a string into it and whatnot, which would net even more damage. And on top of that, the crushing blow currently, which is only on the enhanced version right now in this version, you get the long animation move into crushing blow easily 40%. Now imagine doing this with a string into that you're going to be looking at 50 percent half of their life are getting hit by that now the way that they rework this move is not only by making it very reduced meaning once you do this and do this it'll be very quick it'll be like boom and then boom away so they they're not going to take 20 percent acid damage just by getting hit by that because the duration is limited but they reworked the crushing blow aspect to the move currently you have to do a crushing blow on the amplified part only meaning you have to use a bar of offense for this to activate in the version coming up with the update they made it so the regular one you just have to hit them with the regular one without meter burning it and you'll get the crushing blow so that in a way is a buff and if you want the extra damage you meter burn it i'm not sure if the meter burn one will keep the crushing blow it may or may not you may be able to choose only between one attempt at the crushing blow, similar to Cabal's hook spin grab, where he grabs you on the back, swings you around. Both the regular and enhanced version for Cabal have a crushing blow, but you get to use one of them. You only get to use it once, and it's tied to both of the moves. It's only one use for both of them. They may do that for Aaron Black's acid pour. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see when the, when the update comes out. Now, this variation does seem very cool. You get the nether trap. You get the acid pour. Two very good moves. However, there's an issue here. And this is going on theory craft because again, they did specifically state in the comic cast that there are going to be some balance tweaks to characters, meaning what you see right now is not what the moves are going to be like. So we don't know. Aaron Black's bear trap may be a little bit quicker. It may not be 60 frame startup and 20 frame recovery. This move right here may not be death on block which it currently is it's minus 14 which is full combo punishable by nearly everybody so here's the dilemma we have 52 card pickup which gives you zoning anti-zoning combos damage better neutral safety the list goes on you get all of this with 52 card pickup what do you get in return for this new variation coming with aaron black first of all you lose your safety. This variation is incredibly unsafe. Doing this string is a death sentence. That string with no cancel into scut shot or slide cancel, it's minus 15. Full combo, comboable punishable string that doesn't even give a full combo on hit. So this string is death on block and on hit, this will be your combo in here. You would do that into this, a 20% combo for doing a move that's death on block. And if you want to use your rifle and come off your ammo, you would get 21% at the cost of two bullets. Which, by the way, in this variation, the reloading is much slower. So not only does 52 car pickup have the better everything else I mentioned on the bucket list, but it even has the better reloading on top of that. So, you have to sacrifice a lot. No combos, you're going to be incredibly unsafe. You're going to have less of a good neutral game you're going to have no anti-zoning aside from the potential of the bear trap which is going to be very matchup dependent on how good it is you're going to have um 
bar- basically no zoning, you're 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 giving up a lot for this. So, right now I'm a little concerned because with the way it's going, I fear Aaron Black may become a one variation character, like he was in MKX and MKX. Uh, the final version of the game, which was a year into it, they made Gunslinger, which they fixed, and that ended up being Aaron Black's best variation, and there was really no reason to ever use Outlaw or Marksman. He was effectively made into just a one variation character. When you played Aaron Black, Gunslinger was the way to go. Marksman and Outlaw just didn't cut it. He may share the same fate in this game. Barking Irons is not as good as 52 card pickup. This variation may suffer the same fate, and Aaron Black, once again, will be just a one ration character. And I don't want it to be seen as complaining, because 52 card pickup is top tier. So, it would be kind of unfair to ask for Barking Irons and this new ration coming out to also be top tier. I think that's it's a little unfair to ask for. One thing I will say, though, is... If they do any kind of changes, I don't really think it's anything to do with the bear trap. I think the bear trap is kind of fine, even though it's a little slow. Making it a tiny bit quicker or recover a little bit faster wouldn't hurt. But what they could do is if they were to make this like minus 10 or minus 9, because it does have some decent pushback. If they were to make this move minus 10 or minus 9, just a little bit more safe. So that, that way the whole cast can't get an easy punish on it. Then this variation could definitely have something. Because in the corner, there's so many mix-ups you can do with this. There's, you got so many mix-ups. His throw will combo into it naturally in the corner. His forward four will combo into it. Back to two, any string two and two. You could all convert into slide, which will combo into the bear trap. Then you can either choose to get a big damaging combo or switch positions and put them back in the corner and loop the trap. It's definitely good in the corner. I'd say this variation right now is going to have Aaron Black's best corner game and best mix-up specifically in the corner, but you're going to have to give up a lot for it. So, here's hoping that, you know, maybe NRS will look at this move and be like, well, does this attack deserve to be full combo punishable on block? Maybe they'll do a tweak or something. But right now, as it said, as as from what I'm going by, if they leave this currently the same, it'll be fun to play on the side. You may There may be like a couple matchups where you'll opt to use Barking Irons or this new third ration coming up, but for the most part, 90% of what makes Aaron Black really good against a lot of characters is 52 card pickup. And I don't think that's going to change. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. I'm looking forward for this new patch to hit, hopefully with Terminator in two weeks. And we'll see what these new variations are about.